how can technology be used to tackle COVID-19 or this virus, arrest the con or contain this virus? I have with me a very, very important guest as of this moment. Lalitesh is the founder of IndieHood, uh, co-founder of Google, uh, Google India, and also advisor to the government on the Arogya Setu app. Uh, hi, Lalitesh. Thank you so much for joining us right here on Indie TV. Uh, I want to know from you the philosophy behind the Arogya Setu app. How does it work? If you could explain. Suppose if you were to convince a person to download this app, how, how does it help? See, Arogya Setu is the only way you can be alerted that you might have been in touch or close to somebody who later got diagnosed as infected. So it's an early warning system and very, very important for all of us to have it because not only does it keep us safe, our family safe, it also reduces the rate of growth across the country um, and uh, reduces the need for lockdowns of the kind that we are having. But you know, Lalitesh, uh, I hope you're aware of certain concerns about privacy. A lot of people have said that this is uh, almost a sort of a, a constant tracking device uh, how do you respond to this criticism? Yeah, uh, it's a valid criticism. Anytime you do a tracing app of any kind, privacy is an important issue. So what we did is we actually started privacy at the heart of the way we designed the infrastructure, right? So this was a privacy first design and let me walk you through what that means. The information that uh, this phone tracks, it tracks your Bluetooth uh, contacts. It also tracks your GPS location once every 30 minutes. And that information is kept on your phone. And only when somebody is infected or they're at very high risk, less than 1% or 2% of the population, currently this has now 5.5 crore users, right? Less than 1, of, 1 or 2% of that population, their information is downloaded. And of course, the privacy policy is very clear about that it can only be used for COVID, no other purpose. It will be wiped out between 30 to 60 days. And all the checks and balances to make sure that we are not using this for any other purposes and uh, this the whole enterprise is to keep ourselves safe. Now, uh, Lalitesh, obviously when you try to reach out to a large section of people, the Prime Minister is appealing constantly that you download this app. But I hope you know that there are, uh, India is in a way the world capital of uh, of using feature phones. So yes. we, 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 we use a lot many feature phones than smartphones, which means there's absolutely no provision of downloading this app. So how do, you, how do you factor that in? So there is some thought that has gone into that. Um, Aryogi Setu allows you to do three things. One is the Bluetooth contact, the other is the GPS tracing, and the third one is uh, self-assessment. The self-assessment part, which should be, which is essentially your lifeline when crisis hits, for people to reach out and say that, look, I am unwell, should I be tested, can I be tested, and so on. Um, is something that we are now baking into an IVRS system, which is imminently going to go live. And we are you know, creating a phone line in case all of that fails, so you can reach out. So yes, you are spot on, uh, Sanket. There is no way uh, just smartphones can be used. But having said that, uh, it is this is very important. If you look at the spread of this virus, and if you look at statistics, this virus spreads more where population density is higher. Right? It's incontrovertible if you take across the world. And even in India, if you look at districts where population density is higher, it is spreading faster. So this in many ways, the highest uh, risk areas are the cities. Mm. And cities, fortunately, have a much higher density of smartphones. Mm. Even people like my maids, drivers, and people who work in the delivery service, all of them have smartphones. Mm. So if we actually, all of us together, uh, you know, choose to make this app our uh, you know, bodyguard, if you will, during this crisis, it will go a long way in safeguarding our city. Lalitesh, now, uh, um, I'll ask this question again because I'm sure a lot of people will have uh, uh, this concern. What exactly will this app do? Like, for instance, the moment I download, what details do I put in? How does it start helping me uh, uh, post-furnishing those details? Sure. So this app does uh, a very simple set of, asks a very simple set of questions. It asks for your name in case somebody needs to call you and the name can be your nickname, doesn't have to be your official name. And it asks for your phone number, uh, because that is the only way to reach you. And it does ask for two or three things which are very important from an epidemiological point of view. It asks for your age, as you know, older you are, more you are at risk. Mm -hmm. And it asks for your gender, as you also might have seen, uh, this hits males more than females two is to one. 
So all of this information is being asked for to assess the risk level. And when you onboard yourself, it'll ask you a very simple question. Are you feeling well? Have you been traveling internationally? And if one of those is uh, not right, it will then launch you into a self-assessment where you can ask, we ask, answer a very simple set of questions using a chat interface and uh, which will then tell you whether you are fine for now uh, and will encourage you to uh, ask the same questions again and come back definitely if you're un feeling unwell and self-assess. Now, Ravitesh, I, I, I think I heard a very important word that you used uh, uh, at the beginning of our conversation. You said that uh, this is only for a limited period, is it? For uh, yeah, the, the policy says that this information will be used only for a period of, say, 60 to 90 days. And then what happens? What happens to that so, data? It self-destructs. Yeah, so it self-destructs. So um, if, if nothing ever happens to you and you never fall unwell and you're never at risk, within 30 days, the trailing 30 days, the information gets automatically wiped out. And uh, if you are at risk, if you come near somebody who is at risk, 45 days, and if, God forbid, if you have a sickness, people who are sick, when they are cured, within 60 days of that, will wipe it out. Hmm. Now, uh, you know, another interesting question will be, why can all of this not be done by uh, a bot on a WhatsApp? For instance, I'm sure you're aware that WHO has its own info bot. You've got... Uh, uh, you've got the Indian uh, Health and Family Welfare Ministry also, which has a WhatsApp info bot. You ask mm -hmm. questions and it'll, it'll answer uh, specifically to your needs. What mm -hmm. was the intention behind having a separate app? How is mm -hmm. app more empowering than any other form? So, two things, Sanket. Uh, one is that the app actually allows you to have a registered experience, which means, let's suppose you're unwell. And unwell means, you know, I might have a mild fever and I might have a cough. I'm on the borderline and I'm less than 60 years old, so I'm not a high priority person. But if that unwell state continues for two or three days, we have a way of knowing that this person has been persistently unwell. Maybe they need help, right? Bots don't allow you to do that. And the other thing bots don't allow you to do is the one of the primary purposes of this is, uh, you know, tracing, right? Mm -hmm. Tracing and tracking cannot be done on a bot. So, the, so those are the two purposes. And... Yes, in the West and other places, they have disband, they have a you know decoupled experience. So, Google and Apple are building their own tracing experience. WHO has its own thing, but in India, we need to reach every person, and no one person can be left behind. So, aggregating all the uh, tools that we are going to create for this crisis into one place is very very important because our average user is not savvy enough to download ten apps and manage their life. True. All right, Lalitesh, thank you so much. Well, uh, and also congratulations for this being uh, reaching the fastest app to have reached the, the five crore downloads. And I think that is some, some achievement. Perhaps people are taking to this app as a lifesaver. Thank you so much, Lalitesh, for joining us right thank here. Thank you. Congratulations to our people. Thank you.